Hey YouTubers, in this episode I will be showing you how to get customized 2.1 on your iPod Touch or iPhone running firmware 2.0. So, um, customize if you don't know what it is, it's a very popular application for the iPod Touch or iPhone and it actually skins your iPod or iPhone and um, you can change icons, batteries, skin, uh, the top bar, Safari, a lot of stuff. Um, it's not that good now, but it will be when Summerboard comes out, which is also a skinning application that works with Customize 2.0. So now I'm just, just going to show you how to get it. There's two ways to get it, through Cydia, which is kind of buggy, or through SSH, which is a surefire way. So I'm just going to show you SSH. Okay, so on your computer, just go to the link in the description, vid description, and um, you should go to some page like this. Once you click on the link, you should see a download box not like this because I have a download manager you should see the Firefox download or the internet download just hit a uh, save to file or something it, it's a really small file It'll finish really quick so now I'm just gonna drag that to my desktop here you, sh you should see customize 2.1.1 dot zip just unzip that and there we have it just customize dot app app. Now you're gonna need to SSH into your iPod, which is Secure Shell. If you don't know what that is, then um, I suggest you watch my other video. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna connect to SSH real quick now. There we are. Once you're in your private var root folder, that's the default folder that your um, FTP client will go into. We're gonna move up into stash oh yeah um, actually um, if you have city installed all your applications will be in stash but if you don't have it installed then I suggest you install it and update it or else your applications will be in the 300 megabyte partition which is bad because um, you can't have a lot of apps that way so I'm just gonna put it in my applications folder here's all my applications we're just gonna go into my desktop Just drag it into the applications folder. Okay, so it's done. Um, I'm going to find that folder and we're going to need to change some permissions. So there's customize. Change that properties to 775. Apply. Okay. We're going to go inside the folder. Click one file, control A, and then go to right click, properties, 775. Now we're going to go in all the folders and changing all the properties of everything inside it to 775. And that should be it. All you have to do now is just uh, look on your iPod and you should see a new customized um, icon. It should look like a square with some squirrely. It kind of looked like the color tilt icon from the App Store. Um, if it doesn't launch, then you did the permissions wrong. There's nothing else wrong. I'd, I've done it three or four times and it works perfectly. So, and thanks for watching. That concludes the tutorial on how to get customized on firmware 2.0. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any problems, questions, put it in the comments below or give me a PM. I um, have zero PMs right now because I spent like two hours yesterday answering all PMs. So I'm pretty free. So you can go ahead and send me a PM. And um, just thanks for watching the entire video and going through with it. Um, and uh, see ya.